So the sad news is um, that I've already I've, I've expressed my sadness is that Helen McCrory died yesterday, and she's in everything like anything you've ever watched that's British. She's in it. She's like there. she's a staple, and she's such a good actor. And I'm just really sad that yeah. she died. She is um, a woman of many talents. Like she can do a lot of characters, or she could do accents. She could do a lot. She, she could pull off a lot of looks. Like I feel like she was yes. almost one of those people that was a bit of a chameleon in that you didn't always recognize her and then suddenly you were like, oh, it's her in yeah. this as well. Because yeah. she, she would change her hair and it would be like, oh, different person. But no, she was always there. Mm. She was always there. So yeah, sad. I feel like there's been a lot of deaths this year. I mean, that makes sense. But <laughs> on the whole, yeah. yeah. Oh. It's been sad. It's been a sad year. Um, it's really sad. So maybe, that was, yeah, that was a sad one. Maybe in our New Year's podcast for 2021, we'll have to do an in memoriam section. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> That's terrible. Holly can like sing over it, like sing a sad song, and I'll just list people who've died. <laughs> I thought maybe you'd do like in the arms oh. of an angel. I thought I could see you singing that. Yeah, that would be beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's what's happening. <laughs> no, but genuinely, that was very sad. It was really sad. not to make sad, light of that. That was sad. Um. And so the ones that are happier news. Um, nice. Jenna Marbles and Julian Solomita got engaged. Yeah. I I honestly just thought they were going to be one of those couples that just didn't get married, and I was I was okay with that, and I was like, that's just them. Happy for them. Mm. And they got engaged, and I was like, I didn't realize this was something I wanted, but I did. <laughs> I'm happy for them. I genuinely am, and I just I hope that they have the best marriage ever, and I'm sure they will. Yeah, because they're just lovely people, it's or lovely kind of, together. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the kind of relationship we all are secretly hoping that we find that it's just yeah, someone it's... who makes you laugh like that. Someone much. that's very well like fitted to you, like they're just yeah. very well suited to each other. Which is yeah. I wonder how they I met. See. She. Um, I think he was. This is how many videos I've watched, and it's ridiculous. <laughs> he was working in a bar, yeah, and um, she just kept flirting with him until he agreed to go out with her. <laughs> Power move, I guess. <laughs> yeah, maybe if if you're flirting with your waiter and they don't seem interested, don't continue. But in this <laughs> instance, it worked out. <laughs> it worked out great for them. Yeah. Don't harass your waitresses, people. <laughs> Your waiters and your your waiters, yeah. Uh, anything else, Holly? Um, M and S are suing Aldi <laughs> over Cuthbert the caterpillar cake because apparently it's breaking like the pattern or whatever they've got on Colin the caterpillar. <laughs> it's iconic. It's iconic that this is happening. For a for a context, we do have a lot of listeners that are not from UK. Um, if Colin the caterpillar isn't universal, which I assume isn't, but M&S, Marks and Spencer, is a supermarket here, sells Colin the caterpillar cakes. It's just a cake shaped like a cat. Uh, I don't know. It's like a roll type shape. Chocolate Swiss roll. Yeah, it's like a cartoon caterpillar. It's very fun, iconic birthday cake. Most people have had one in their life. Yeah. Um, but because of the success of Colin, every other supermarket in the UK has created their own version of Colin with various C names. And I don't know why, but Aldi's version of it just seemed to apparently have taken it a step far and they're being sued. <laughs> and they're in court and I saw the memes from the Aldi, t- Aldi Twitter page. Yeah, it's incredible. And they're so funny. So if you're yeah. feeling sad... Go and look at them because the person that's running the Audi Twitter page is not taking this as seriously as it is. <laughs> I did, I did wonder, like, could the the posts that they're putting be shown in court? Because they don't, they don't <laughs> deny that it's that they've copied M&S. No, exactly. at all. They're kind of outright like, yeah, we copied them, but what of it? So <laughs> interesting, love it. Um, I something that I was kind of obsessed with this week is i don't know if you've seen grimes's new tattoo no <gasps> so grimes decided that she wanted to get i'm gonna say this as if this is a thing that people know, know what it is because it's not a real thing but she decided that she wanted an alien back tattoo alien scars on her back as she puts it um mm. what do you think that would be like what do you think alien scars on a back would look like hmm 
I think it would probably look like like a like Freddy Krueger like three claw Thick claws. Like, scratch, you're kind like... of you're kind of close. What it looks like is lots of scrapes. Like someone has just gone on her back and just scraped it up a lot. Like someone has just ran their nails down her back. Um, mm. in various just wiggly lines that go all the way down. Don't know why that's what, what alien scars look like. Um, but yeah, it just looks like her back's being scratched up intensely by someone. Like someone is, she said to someone, "Will you itch my back? I've got like a scratch I can't reach," and they have <laughs> gone way too hard. Um, so we'll put pictures up on the social media of that because why? But also, it makes perfect sense. It does, but also. That seems like a really intense thing to get as a tattoo. And I know she's an intense yeah. person and she's yeah. like kooky, whatever. But yeah. at the same time, like, that's on your... I mean, you can't see it, so it's not your problem. Well, but like, yeah, that's true. It feels a I bit sadomasochistic that... This is going to get an opinion opinionated. So people with tattoos, feel free to share your opinions. There is a bit of me that thinks, like, when you get tattoos on your back or places you can't see, what's the point? Because, like, I would get a tattoo because I want to see it. Mm-hmm. So if you get it on your back or somewhere you can't see what's like you're just you're getting it for other people. <laughs> Is your thought process right? I don't know saying I think like back tattoos can be really fun. Mm-hmm. But like do you not miss do you have to like stand with like two mirrors so you can see it? Like what what's going on there? Is it for bikini pictures specifically when someone from like the back though? Maybe. That's my like... But Grimes is, is I think purely just to um <laughs> encourage people to think she's an alien. Which is fun, but a choice. Anyway, my next one I am including because I just, I hate this. Um, (laughs) (laughs) The CW, the channel, the American channel, um, has decided to make a live action Powerpuff Girls. And I hate this so much because a couple of weeks ago I saw like pictures from the set of it and they've just like, they've tried to copy the outfits, but like they look so cheap. Mm. and they just look like they're in cheap dresses with a black band around the middle um and i'm just really tired of the cw having tv shows because i really don't want the powerpuff girls to be made like riverdale like i can't i can't do with another riverdale and it'd be powerpuff girls although powerpuff girls is about children and now having like a teen revival of it i don't want to know like Oh, Bubbles is dating this boy. Like that seems wrong to me. Yeah, they're just, that's not what children. it's about. <laughs> they're just like also the fact the thing with Powerpuff Girls is that it was weird because why would there be children that would fight crime? But like it worked because it's a cartoon. It was like there's yeah. so many odd aspects of it, but it's like oh, you can play it off in the fact it's a cartoon. Yeah. But as a CW teen drama, surely you're just going to be looking at this being like, okay, well, it's another bland teen drama. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just really sick of them making the, like, where's the creativity? Stop taking children's cartoons and making them into adult TV shows. They never work. And people yeah. just get annoyed that they're ruining your childhood. Anyway, maybe it'll work. And I'm sorry to see CW if it does. But I swear to God, if this is just another Riverdale. Or even, what was, was it Wings? Was yeah, that, that the, was the Wings saga. Yeah, that's what they mean. I don't know the. Se- I think that was just a Netflix creation. I'm equally oh, annoyed okay. at Netflix in these situations. <laughs> They've been half as bad. They did Sabrina. That was another childhood mm. favorite that they just were like, let's make it into a teen drama. Um, Wink Saga. Everyone loved it for the iconic looks, and they just didn't do that. And apparently, the CGI was also terrible. So could they stop and reevaluate their choices on what they're making? Like, have so- there must be people out there who are coming up with original ideas for shows surely surely because this is not it this is not it <laughs>